just innocent man. And we're back. We have found in our travels a Grand Adventure collection. This is brand new. It's got Tara Pajos and friends. Giant oversized card. Look at all those friends having fun there. Whoa. We've got Fua Coco. We got Sprigatito. We got all the friends there. It looks like we got two Surging Sparks packs. And we look like we have two Stellar Crown in the back. We got to pop this bad boy. Look at the back there. From the Brave Olivine to your collection. If you got Pokemon by your side, everything will be fine. That's how we live here. So, we got two foil promo cards featuring Sprigatito and Fuacococo. We've got one oversized foil promo card featuring Terrapagos and Friends. And we got four Pokemon TCG booster packs. This was a steal at $22 Canadian buckaroos. We had to get it because we're looking for that Surging Sparks, which is surging in price. And we're going to get rich off of it. So I'm going to gently open this. I'm going to pull out those packs. We're going to get some winners. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, get it. Get it. You've got this. Oh, you're making a mess. You're horrible. No, just kidding. We did beautiful. Here we go. I'm going to take those out. Look at those beautiful promo cards. I'm going to move them out of the way because the transporter will be so mad at me if I even wreck them even the slightest bit. So I'm going to move them out of the way. I'm going to keep them in their plastic until the transporter gets here. And when he sees them, he will gently keep them safe from bad eyes. We got Pokemon Horizons, the series right there. I'll move that giant oversized card out of the way gently as gently as I can. I will look at this awesome Horizons the series. Watch now. Oh, wow. If you want to watch it right there, you can just watch it right now. There you go. There's a QR code for you. And then we've got the beautiful. Oh, okay. Okay. They tricked us. They got one stellar crown, one obsidian flames, but I'll accept that. Let's see what we got. We'll save the surging sparks for last. We'll open up the stellar crown and obsidian flames. Let's start with the Obsidian Flames. Of course, we're looking for a Michael Jordan number 65. If we can find it, that's amazing. If not, we'll be heartbroken. Just kidding. We're looking to... We're going to move one from the back to the front because that's what you do in all these new era cards, I call them. New era. As long as you got energy on the front, you're doing all right. So here we go. We got basic energy. We got Sinistee. Of course, we're looking for something in a Charizard or a Blastoise or something fancy. I don't know what's the big one in this. We'll know when we see it. When you hear me go, oh, that's amazing. Then we'll know we got it. If you don't hear me do that, well, then I didn't. Or if you hear a cha-ching, then maybe I did get something good. I don't know. I'll never know. We got Kangaskhan there. You're looking at all these ones as they flop by. Ooh, so we start off with our first reverse our reverse is Dullieve. We've got a reverse Cub Chew who looks like he's got a booger straight out of his nose right there. You can see it. And let's see what we got here. This looks something fancy. Here we go. Whoa, not fancy at all. Entai. They got that tricky little silver border that reflects. Gets me excited every time I see it. Only to pull a sad little Entai. There, I just made the noise for you. I don't know if it's going to pop up there. It's probably not worth much. Let's start with the Stellar Crown next. Here we go. Well, let's not start with it. We'll continue on to the Stellar Crown next. Then we're going to open this bad boy up. Let's hope we got something good. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Get rid of this code card. We don't need it where we're going. We're going to take this last card and put it up to the front. We're going to hopefully not reveal any of the other cards until it is time. We've got basic energy. We got a Sharkadet. We've got a Cichlizar. We've got a Metacham. We got a Root Fossil that looks like a Foot Fossil or maybe a Hand Fossil. We got Luminion. We've got Marowak, one of my favorites there. It looks like a normal Pokemon wearing the skull of another Pokemon. That's uh, morbid. We got Toad Scroll. 
We got a reverse Fletchling. We got a reverse Varum. And finally, we've got a Cinderace X. I have to assume that that's something really nice because it's got that nice, shiny, weird, stellar crowny sort of Terra thing to it. And that apparently means it's good, hopefully. Oh, I'm going to try and sleeve this. And hopefully you hear a cha-ching because that means we pulled something amazing. Check that out. That is beautiful. I don't know if that's one of the good ones or not, but it is good enough for me. So now we're on to the Surging Sparks R with renewed hope and vigor. We're going to start off with this one here because I don't know who that is. I'm sure it's probably like a Lapras or some kind of weird thing. And then we'll finish off with Pikachu. He feels heavier anyways. Not that that matters. I don't think he's actually heavier at all. I think it's just in my brain. Here we go. Let's get to the surging sparks. This has been surging in value. So let's hope we get something really nice here. I think it's just one to the front. We're only one way to find out. And that's by turning it around. Whoa. We've got that basic energy with a little lightning. We love that. Hopefully that's a good sign. We got a spupa. We got a Don Fawn. We got a Fuaco Quo Quo Quo, which is similar to the Fuaco Quo 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 that we got at the beginning in the promo cards. We got a Mantine. We got a Quo Quible. We got a Gray Fafe. That's really nice. I like that one. It's a mischievous painting. Oh, look at him painting there. That's so nice. We got Cyrano. Oh, hi, Cyrano. Whoa. We got. Terrapagos Reverse. That is probably really good. I'm going to move that over to our probably really good area. We got Gravity Mountain. That also feels like it's really good. So maybe my brain's just not working right. And I'm just pretending these are all really good cards. Only one way to find out. And Iron Crown is our finish of that. I feel like I've got an Iron Crown every time I pull these cards. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Okay. Let's open this final pack of Surging Sparks. Hopefully, we got some good stuff. Hopefully, you've heard lots of titchings and bones and uh, no wah, 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 wahs because we want only the hits. Oh, there's a little green square. Could it mean something? Is it something special? I don't think so. I think it just happened to be a little green square there. But maybe it means something. I don't know. We'll see. Only one way to find out. And that is by checking these cards right here. We've got, oh, we've got Basic Energy, again with a little bit of that Wada. We've got Oricororio. We've got Bronzor. We got More Lull, lulling me into a sense of more. No, wait, you get it. We got Diglett. We love him. We got Colbert Berry. We got Paldian Tauros. Whoa, hi, Paldian Tauros. We got Flapple. He was an apple, but now he's a Flapple. We got a reverse Flittle. That is a nice Flittle card. In reverse, we got Clements Click Quick Wit. I feel like that's got to be a really nice card. I feel like it's got to be nice, so I'm going to put it aside. And finally, we got Dielga. Ooh, Dielga. Okay, thanks, Dielga. That was pretty good, but again, it feels like Iron Crown. I was hoping to get a Terrapic of Glapalos or a Pablagalos, Blablagalos. We'll see. Or a Michael Jordan. Okay, thanks for watching, and enjoy Surging Spark.